Just what is happening in Wasingishu, NASA leaders spent Wednesday in Jubilee strongholds of Elgeo Maraquet and Wasingishu counties where they showered incumbent Wasingishu Governor Jackson Mandago with affection, in effect almost insinuating to their supporters that they should vote him back into office. Lois Wangoi reports on this rather unexpected turn of events. <laughs> The 64 stadium was full to capacity on Wednesday. NASA leaders arriving in the evening in what is perceived to be a jubilee stronghold. They were well received in Eldoret. During the last visit they made to Eldoret, they had accused Governor Mandago of being a political bully. On Wednesday, the tune was different. Kalonzo Musioka, the first to indicate that things had changed. We cannot, we cannot campaign for any other candidate. Ningekuwa na kura yangu hapa. Governor Mandago has been having challenges getting non-residents to support his second term bid, especially sections of the Kikuyu, Luo, Luye and Kisi votes. NASA's endorsement of Governor Mandago may be just what Mandago needed as the rest for the Wasingishu governorship intensifies. There is nothing that can save Uhuru and Ruto. And there are surrogates, including here in Eldoret. I didn't have much love for Mandago, but I always stand for the oppressed people. NASA went on to insinuate that some sections of the Jubilee Party were not being honest in their support for Mandago. They declared their support for the governor's re-election bid. Mandago's main rival is Mombasa-based businessman Zedekiah Bundotich, also known as Bozeki. <laughs> During their last appearance in Eldoret Town, both the president and the deputy president expressed their support for Governor Mandago. And so has the opposition now. Governor Mandago, it would appear, becomes the first politician to be endorsed by both the government and the opposition. Luis Wangoi, NTV Today, Eldoret.